Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up a VPN on your router, including tips on the most reliable and user-friendly options. By the end of it, your router will be connected to the VPN provider, and all of your network traffic will be routed through this connection, meaning you won't have to install individual apps on each device in your home, and you won't have to worry about device limitations. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs I'm about to mention a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. So the first step in configuring a VPN on your router is to check if it's compatible. You can do this by referring to your router's manual. If you find that you need a different router, make sure to check if it supports OpenVPN client functionality before making a purchase. Routers with versions 2.4 or above are recommended for the best experience. Also, the majority of VPNs currently support the use of OpenVPN protocols on router setups. Now, it's worth noting that if you obtain your router directly from your internet service provider, it may not be capable of being configured. And although most router models should support the required setup, there may be some variations. To start with, I'll be using ExpressVPN as the VPN provider for my router, which I found to be extremely reliable. Now, to set up a VPN on the router, you must first log into the router's control panel. The information for this can be typically found on the back of modern routers. Some routers may have different login credentials for accessing the management page. But in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to do so using this specific model. To access the control panel, enter the code 192.168.1.1 in your browser's address bar. A pop-up window will appear, and the default username is admin. Similarly, the default password is also admin. Now once you've logged in, you'll be presented with an outdated looking control panel. Navigate to the left sidebar and select the VPN option, then the VPN client at the top, to set up your profile, click on Add Profile and fill in your credentials in the Open VPN tab. And keep in mind, the description field can be filled with any text. You can find your ExpressVPN username and password by logging into your account on the ExpressVPN website and navigating to the My Account section. Simply copy and paste these credentials and enable Auto Reconnect. And finally, download the appropriate setup file for your VPN service, noting that the server you use may vary based on your location. To begin, I'll use ExpressVPN Server Finder tool to download the necessary files for setting up a VPN on my router. Next, I'll navigate to the location where I previously entered my service credentials and upload the downloaded files. But make sure to leave the box at the bottom unchecked before clicking OK. And the final step for setting up a VPN on your home router is simply to activate the VPN by tapping the Activate button found on the bottom of your router settings. If everything is properly configured, you should see a blue check mark indicating a successful connection. But keep in mind that the setup process may vary depending on your router and chosen VPN service. Also, there are both benefits and drawbacks to using a router VPN. Having a VPN router can be convenient as it allows for unlimited devices to be connected and protected without manual connection to the servers and it can connect to devices that do not natively support VPNs. But it can be inconvenient to change servers and the speed may be slower. Also, it's not possible to select different VPN servers for each device while connected to the router. Now, there are many VPN options on the market, but not all of them support VPN router setups. ExpressVPN is one of the best options with a large number of servers to choose from across 105 countries. It has a strong privacy policy, including an audited no logs policy, and it's highly dependable, reliable, and consistent. Also, one of the most crucial aspects, particularly when it comes to configurations and more intricate matters, is the availability of 24 7 support. Although ExpressVPN is a trustworthy choice, it's not the only option available particularly in terms of router capabilities. Another great option is NordVPN. They have a good number of servers in 111 countries and also offer OpenVPN with a secure, independent, audited no-logs policy, and they also provide 24-7 customer support. Now, keep in mind that installing a VPN on your router is relatively easy, but make sure your router is compatible and be aware that there may be limitations with router configurations. So again, if you're interested in either of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discount possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.